is our well-being Christian a blessing to each one of us or a bane? No? Kaya, ito, uh, we try to talk about uh, in a very, very, uh, maybe very solid way, uh, summarizing everything that we have when we think about being a Christian. No? Na, akala natin, ang being a ang Christianity is just a set of rules. Uh, do's, uh, do's and don'ts. This is a, it is a, a, a moral system. No, what is sinful? What is not sinful? What is uh, res- uh, what is uh, uh, salvific and what is not, and so on and so forth. No doctrines and set of prayers, uh, devotions, and so on and so forth. Uh, obeying the church, going to mass, or reading. The, the Bible and so on. So what is it really Christian for us today? Today more than ever, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to assert and affirm our being Christians. Why? Because we may not be persecuted uh, community at the time, at this time, just like at the very beginning when they have to hide their identity that they are followers of Christ. Today, we are still in that aspects of being persecuted because of a society that is very much uh, against the values that we are believing. A society that's slowly sliding towards a, a, an atheistic way of living. They, they live in order to live. They enjoy in order to enjoy. Eat, uh, enjoy because life is short. No? And sometimes they don't talk about what is being, what is God and what lies ahead. After death, no? these are questions that uh, only Christians will understand. Now, when we die, there is a place called heaven if we are faithful and if we commit grave sin, there is a place where we call hell. And uh, the people of today doesn't want to hear hell. They only want to hear heaven. They don't even want to to listen about purgatory. <clears throat> Why? Because for them, I, if I believe in Jesus, then I go to heaven. And yet, it is not true. If we believe in Jesus and live according to that belief that we have, then for sure we go to heaven. But most often than not, our life is not really according to our belief. We, we say we are Christians, and yet we don't love one another. We are Christians, and yet we cannot forgive those who hurt us. We are Christians, and yet we, uh, we don't respect one another. We are Christians, and then, and yet, we lack generosity to the people who are in need, in great need. No? So here, we can always say that being Christian today is really a challenge. It's not just a social uh, humanitarian system that Christians are there in order to give uh, ayuda, no? food packs, and uh, hot meals. To those who are in need, it's not that only being a Christian. They are also uh, expressions of our Christianity. That uh, our belief <coughs> make us escape the reality. I remember one time in my parish before, and uh, there was this lady. Uh, tulad niyo rin, ano? Uh, yung, uh, alone alone uh, uh, hindi ba sabi natin alone uh, yung kanyang husband is always in the work so he was most of the time alone 
At mga anak niya, nag-aaral, nag, no, nag, nagtatrabaho. So, she was always alone. And, and what she did no, was to stay in the church every day, seven days a week. Uh, sisimba siya ng alas 6. And then she will stay there until 12. And then, uh, nung una, okay lang. Pero later on, I came to her and said, uh, Tita, bakit po lagi na lang kayo sa simbahan? Wala ba kayong pamilya? Because I want always that my parishioners will share Jesus that they have encountered in the Mass in their homes. And then he said, You know, Father, mas gusto ko sa simbahan. Tahimik. Tahimik. Yung bahay ko magulo. Kaya nawawala ako sa isip doon. Kaya nagagalit ako. Kaya dito sa simbahan, tahimik. Eh sabi ko, tahimik talaga sa simbahan dahil mga santo ay hindi nakapagsasalita. And then napatawa siya. Ano? What was uh, I'm driving at is that, you know, we are more Christians and we give witness to our being Christians in a situation like her home. Siguro, uh, yung mga ginagawa ng kanyang husband at saka mga anak ay eh, hindi yung gusto niya, no? Why are people so frustrated with others? Because they expected people to do what they want to be done. Not to accept what people do and respect them for who they are. No? Kaya dito, makikita po natin na there is really a great need of witnessing in our society today. To witness the love of Christ to all to witness the understanding, the respect, the, the generosity of Christ to all. And so we cannot say that we are escaping the reality of our home na magulo, kaya doon tayo sa simbahan, nakaluhod, at at peace tayo. But we are never at peace when we go home and then lahat ay magulo. Kasi gusto natin maayos. Lahat ay tatamad-tamad. Dahil gusto natin lahat magtatrabaho. No? Kaya we, were, we are never at ease. So it's not escape for reality or being Christians today. We have to face those challenges and bring Jesus into that challenge. Kaya iisa lamang ang gagawin, sabi ko doon sa ali. No? Tanggapin mo na. Na ganyan ang iyong husband, ganyan ang iyong mga anak. And then, pag natanggap mo yan, then, makakausap mo na sila. Ngayon, hindi mo sila makakausap <clears throat> kasi hindi nyo natatanggap kung sino at ano sila. Kaya lagi lang kayo nagagalit, lagi kayo nagnanag, lagi kayo nagdadada. Pero once you understand them, then you begin to talk to them and listen to them and respect them for what they are. I think that is the best witness of being Christians today in our society, in our family. We know that the essence of being Christian is to be in union with God. In union with God through the sacraments, in union with God through prayers, in union with God through our visit to the Blessed Sacrament, in union with God, in our communion with one another, so being at peace with one another. That is how we can give witness to this union in, with God in our lives. No? So I hope that as we start this, no, you also start and initiate a relationship with God, uh, with the Lord, I say. As nasabi natin kanina, though, the more we love, the more we know, the more we know, the more we love. Kaya our love of God will bring us to His knowledge. And so our love of God will also bring us to give witness to Him. I, I always love to say, you know, we give witness to others of this Christ who is very much present and alive in our lives, no? in ourselves. And so we reach out to other persons in Christ. We share to them our relationship with God, our intimacy with God. 
we don't hide it no because faith is not something to be hidden no but it is yeah, like a lamp that is lighted and put into a, a lampstand so that others will be illumined so ibig ko sabihin <coughs> na we cannot hide our faith we cannot enclose our faith it has to to move on to be reached out to be shared and to be shared a shared faith is what the lord wants from us why because the lord did not die only for us now it's very good to say jesus is my personal savior jesus is my personal lord it's good to say but he's also the lord of my community the the savior of my community because god did not reveal himself only to abraham but to a people i will be your god and you make me i i will make you my people and so the revelation of god the self revelation of god is not only a personal experience of one person but of the whole community so here it's not only my god my personal god but the god of my community so we cannot be true christians today if we forget the communitarian dimension of our faith there is always our brother and our sister that is connected to the faith we profess because god saved me and he also saved the whole community he is a father to me but he is also the father of a community we are all brothers and sisters no so here in our, in our life you know it makes us vibrant very much alive if we live our being one with our community if being a family to one another kaya lang uh, it's uh, easy to say we are family but what kind of family dysfunctional family laging nag-aaway hindi nagkakaintindihan uh, laging nagbabanggayan laging naglalamangan no ito yung yung, yung community natin ngayon no lalo na sa Pilipinas ang dami mga korap no and we call ourselves a family kaya parang dysfunctional family and God does not want us to be like that he wants us to be a family where love is present in us where love is there is God and so where God is present in our community and he is the one who makes us all a family without God we can never call each other brothers and sisters only in God are we truly brothers and sisters and then of course our own uh, uh, being Christians will let us know that we are just temporary here on this earth dwellers on this earth one day we will die may nauuna may nahuhuli pero lahat tayo ay mamamatay but for us believers death is not something to be afraid of because it ushers us to eternity and so we believe that there is life eternal that Jesus who rose from the dead has given us also the capacity to share that life eternal that he has given through his death and resurrection we our attitude also should bring us to that effect that we recognize God as our father and Jesus as our brother is our attitude no? kaya para sa atin po mga kapatid ang buhay kristiyano ay napakaganda at mahirap mahirap dahil marami mga factors marami mga mga issues na naging hindrance para sa ating pagiging ganap na Kristiyano sa panahong ito no lagi tayong may reason to fight may reason to be divided 
instead of all the reasons to be united in God as our Father and in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So then, my dear brothers and sisters, kasi alam kong uh, uh, matatapos na ang inyong, ang inyong ano, sa, kuan, sa messenger, yung room. So, here, it's easy that we can conclude really that we are very much fortunate to know Jesus and to baptize in the name of Jesus. And we are very much privileged because we are called sons and daughters of God, our Father. Being Christians today demands responsibility. We don't have to look at the other person and say, Bakit siya Lord? No, na, na, alaala nyo si Jesus uh, at saka si Pedro. No? And then Peter look at John. Paano siya Lord? And then sabi ng Panginoon, hayaan mo siya. Your duty is to follow me. No? So we are privileged persons. Sometimes, sasabihin natin, God is unfair. Dahil tayo mga matitino, uh, we suffer much. Yung mga corrupt, they are lingering in their comforts. At uh, marami silang mga kakayahan. Kung ano ang gusto nilang gagawin, nagagawa. Dahil sa sobra-sobra ang kanilang kayamanan. Pero tayo na tumitingala sa Panginoon, nagdadasal, nagsisimba, hirap na hirap sa buhay. Pero alam po natin na ang ating pagkakristyano ay hindi lamang sa panahong ito, kundi maging sa kabilang buhay. And so, we continue to live our faith and our being one with the Christian community in honesty and loyalty to God, loving Him and being generous to Him because we know na hindi siya isang pabayang Diyos para sa ating lahat. And if we are acknowledging that, then we recognize that in our life, as Christians today, we are giving witness to Christ who is very much alive. May we always be good Christians, my dear brothers, uh, my dear sisters in Christ. May we always be witnesses of Christ in our lives. May we show to them that today, even today, there is a great need of good people, inspired people, loving people, and respecting people in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are the salt of the earth. We are the light of this world. And may you continue to be salt and to be light of this world in your family, among your friends, in your places of work, and in our community. Ayan lang po, may, mga kapatid, very short para hindi kayo mamamatayan ng inyong signal. Okay, meron na ba tayong mga questions uh, na napili? Something before we end? Uh, we have five minutes. May tanong po ba, sisters? Mayroon pong tanong. Klaro naman yung sinabi ni Father Benji, ano po? Tungkol sa pagiging kristyano. Mayroon po itong tanong. Wala. <laughs> Katulad na aking mga estudyante. Matapos ako mag-lecture mag sa kanila ng lesson. Uh, do you have any question? Wala po. Ah, ang babait ng aking mga estudyante. Kayo din po mababait lahat. <laughs> so, have a beautiful Christian Life program. Uh, may you continue. 
until the time na kakaroon din kayo ng LSS hanggang sa magiging ganap ng mga miyembro, mga kaanib ng ang, ang handmaids of, of Mary, Lord. of the Lord. Handmaids of the Lord pala kayo. Kala ko handmaids of Mary. Handmaids of the handmaids Lord. Handmaids of the Lord. Okay. And the couples for Christ, Father opo, Benji. Opo, opo. Bibigay daw kayo ng talk noon, sabi nila, sa mga singles. Oh, lahat. Uh, sa singles, sa couples, <laughs> nagbibigay po. No. Favorite daw kayo nila eh. Wow. <laughs> Thank you po. <laughs> Father Bench, maraming maraming salamat ha. Thank you din po. po. Pasensya na po. Nag-start tayo ng late dahil nga sa aking uh, obligation din po. Uh, appointment. Kaya naging late tayo ngayon. Okay? So, until here na lang ako. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.